What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Comic Car Checklist. And for this episode, we're going to be doing a pack opening. Well, a couple of packs. I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten packs to be exact of the Fleer Spider Man from uh, Panini Brazil. So, but I definitely know that this were. Flare Ultra Spider-Man, the 1995 edition for the American version, but yeah, I think this came out with 1997 for the Brazil edition. Um, so it looks like for this set, there's going to be 50 cards, 33 Vilios, maybe those, those are villains card, 7 card specials. And nine cards come os personagens and one checklist, I'm assuming. I don't really know how to read Brazilian, so I might be wrong on these, but it looks like it's going to be a 50 card set. And each pack seems to have how many cards? Mm, doesn't really say. Well, it looks like it's also produced by Fleer Skyback, Skybox International, imported for Brazil. Is that how that works? I'm not really sure. Since I grew up and started collecting in 1993, but you know, I only collected Americans and I never even knew about uh, these editions. In fact, I I've never heard of this card set until I saw it on eBay f like a week ago and then I purchased it. So, but anyway, just to recap on some 1995 Flare Ultra Spider Man, we got some Flare prints which uh, look pretty badass. And here I have the full set in the binder. And we'll just go through it really quick. You got the wrappers over here and I actually have the American version that came out in 1997. So if we could decipher it, maybe it means the same thing. Five Marvel cards. And it looks like it's also distributed by P Panini. And set composition, 49 basic cards and one checklist. So the Brazilian edition is actually a lot different, but we'll find out soon enough. More of the uncuts. We got our base set with the Ultra, Ultra Pro Spider-Man. Sorry, Ultra. What is, it? what is this? Flare Ultra Spider-Man. And Premier Edition, I guess that's what it says. Not Ultra Pro. <laughs> I'm used to having the nine pocket pages in Ultra Pro. So, But this is the base set, which will just have um, the regular base set that looks like this. And I'm assuming the, the other cards are going to have the same thing, but I don't think they will have the golden foiling on them. It'll look more like the 1997 edition that I'll show you guys after this. So yeah, this is the base set. Then we go to our autograph signature set. Oh, I have an extra, extra uh, Spider-Man page. Here we have the autograph, which I personally like better than the Although it's just a facsimile um, signature, it's, it's still a badass that uh, they have it. It came one per pack, so it wasn't... Back then, I think it was extremely difficult for me, for anyone to complete this type of set. But now it's a lot easier since we got eBay and practically you can buy the whole set for... I don't know how much they cost, but uh, I think at the time maybe between like 150 to 300 dollars for the signature set 
so I I think I got mine for like 150 but it was like an incomplete and I still had to get like 10 10 or 20 more cards so it would have probably gone up to like two to three hundred but here are the chase cards for it which we will probably see I'm assuming the nine specials will be um, cards from the subsets from this so something like that I don't know if it'll have any hollow blast and I don't think it'll have any any of the clear chrome either but it might have the clear chrome like uh, in this version that were promos from Ralston and I think that should be it well let's take a look at the international uh, set which is this 50 card like but like I said they don't have the foiling and they just have this yellow uh, names and titles and I'm assuming they look something like this but probably in Portuguese so but anyway that is our base set and maybe I'll show you guys the cell, sh cell sheet as well Ooh. since I haven't taken a look at this in a while uh, I'm almost forgetting like how it looks but uh, not bad pretty colorful but anyway let me put this aside and we will get started with unpacking the Bra the Portuguese Brazilian player Spider-Man I guess <laughs> which I didn't know was distributed by Panini so let's take a look all right so we got 10 packages to deal with and we'll just start with one I hope they're not sticking together, but let's find out. Uh, this actually feels like really dusty. Um, it's a little bit dirty, but hopefully I could get like a close to a full set for these. I guess these are pretty hard to find, so I might not be able to complete. But yeah, like I said, um, it looks like they were cheaply made and they are it looks like they are <laughs> but yeah we got the everything in Portuguese uh, trying to read some of it but it looks like broken down Spanish so but yeah we'll just get through it and it looks like some of them are not uh they look kind of dent but let's see maybe a little sticking we got vulture we got team ups hawkeye uh, let me just try to unjam um, these slam them to um get them unjammed without without the whiting effect but i don't know if it'll work sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't maybe like uh bend it a little bit and it's still not coming off so there might be some whiting on on this one I hate when that happens but uh, it looks like it came off clearly so looks like no damage but we already have a repeat which kind of sucks because uh, it came in the same pack but now we could verify that we have are you kidding Damn, this is damage. We got two vultures and two cane in one pack. Like, this really sucks. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so it looks like it's five cards per pack. And frustr getting rid of some frustration because of that first pack that we opened that had two, two doubles, man. Come on. Like, I'm hoping to get like doubles, but not like you know, in the same pack. So, they are kind of getting sticky, so I might have to um 
break down each one of them. But let's see who we got here. We got Grim Hunter. And oh, that's sticky. We got Gambit team ups. So card 45 and 14. Uh, these were 18, 32, and 46. I don't think I'm going to get a full set at all, judging from the doubles I've been getting already. Um, we got Web of Life. With a little bit of sticking, but hopefully no damage. Doppelganger. And man, it's getting tough. Uh, there you go. Nick Fury. And number 48 and 12. So I'm not sure what the specials are. I don't know if we got any specials yet, but 33 cards, 7 cards special, 9 cards. Come os person personagens. Um, hopefully we get a checklist and we'll see what those 50 cards are and what they're, what the, the 33 and the 7 and the 9 cards mean. So, we got Spider-Man, always a pleasure of getting the number 1 card. It looks like it's stuck a little bit. We got Owl at... Number 23, Pursuit, Milestone, and Chance, number 10. Let me give this a little bit of a... All right, I think that should have did the job. Yep, looks like no damage. We got Craven, 19, Pursuit, uh, and Chance. Next one. I hope I get the checklist. That way uh, I could provide you guys with it. And know exactly which cards uh, the list back here was talking about. So we got... Come on, man. Another vulture. number, <laughs> Vulture number three. It better not be another... Uh, who, which character was that? It better not be another cane. I'm gonna be pretty upset. <laughs> this is why I like buying complete completed sets because uh, opening packs sometimes you just get like so many doubles and it's not. I really don't want to get whiting on it because uh, I think they're pretty rare cards. All right. Hope that did the trick. I'm just gonna force it. Come on, another cane, man. We got Puma. Ooh, these are really stuck. All right. Hope that did the trick. Still stuck. dislodge one of them to both of them we got puma we got power and responsibility maybe i'm thinking the milestones are the one that's the seven card special perhaps or there might be the nine cards come os person personagens uh, still stuck man I'm just going to pull it. Uh, still stuck. Finally. And we got Hawkeye again. So it looks like we're running into a lot of doubles already. Uh, triples. Yeah, definitely not going to get a complete set. But it is what it is. At least I, were, I was able to uh, find these cards and open a... 10 packs for you guys so but man 
I really hate it when they start sticking. It looks like they were in a box that was compressed together and probably even got moisture in them. So with this method, it seems to be the I'm getting most of the cards without damage. I'll show you guys what it looks like if you try to um, break them apart without like doing that. It'll show a lot of like dotted whiting. So. But we got Chakra, which might happen to these cards if I, if I don't have the enough patience to keep doing this. But this seems to be the method that works for me the best. It's like putting them in like the fridge or putting them in water and well, not putting the cards in water, but um, putting the box like in a in like a container, and then putting some wet towel like for moisture, and then leaving it for a couple of days. We got shocker, which I've done for one of the an another um, internationals uh, set, and it, there were actually like stickers, so I think it worked pretty well. But you gotta like leave them in moisture for like a couple of days and but yeah this this seems to be like so i'm gonna just give them a love tap a couple of love taps <clears throat> that way um uh hopefully there's no damage and we finally got uh, my favorite card, the checklist, and we will see what they were referring to. Oh, still not. And we got two of them. All right. So we got one through 33 and then Okay, so 34 to 40 were milestones and 41 to 49 were team ups. So yeah, that makes sense. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 milestones and 9 team ups and then the checklist and then the rest are characters for 33. So there, we got our we got our answer. And Hopefully we could uh, untangle the rest of these. But yeah, um, it seems like it's a pretty easy set to complete. But, ah oh shit. So that was the damage I was talking to you guys about if uh, I don't do it correctly. Um, you see right there, like it'll take off some of the, some of the card surface and it'll have it stuck on the other side. So. This means I pulled it out too early and that's why I got to be careful and really slam it so that they uh, come apart without damaging the card. So yeah, so this is what it looks like uh, when the cards get damaged if you don't, if they're sticky and you don't try to dislodge them uh, like that. That's why you never uh, just pull them apart. You gotta, you gotta pull them apart with shock that way. Uh, the cards will remain intact. I know it seems like you're um, har harming the cards, but it it works. So, <laughs> and I'm scared to pull this apart as it is possible to damage these cards. So, and considering I have not found them on eBay, they might be hard to find. So. But here we got another one in Hawkeye and proof that the bashing method works for um, <clears throat> unsticking these cards together. So I'll just open it because it seems like it's harder to spread them apart it, uh, when they're still in packs. So. But hopefully uh, I get most of the set. more damages you know come on how many canes am i gonna get oh it's so annoying we got blood rose owl 
I'm gonna have like five. I think I have five. Uh, who are you? Five canes. I wouldn't mind if it was like a a more known character, but Kane. Like who's Kane? I've never even heard of him. But we got one of the team ups. Maybe gotta go to the other side. Still, this one is this one is tight. Oh, and I think that did it. Oh no, it's still. Ooh, might have. Huh. There's also a chance you could damage it if you land on the corner. So you guys got to be careful and uh, try to hit dead center. Uh, but this one is this one's tough. This one is really stuck. And it's not budging. And that's where we do the massage method. Uh, but this method might break it. There's a chance of whiting for this. So usually the slamming method is like the best. But sometimes when you just have like two cards like this, it's kind of hard to... Uh, spread them apart but uh, these cards seem to have uh like a lot of weight was put on them because you see like lines on it so it might have been like been put under like a lot of weight so i don't know man but this one's not coming off i'm putting so much pressure Oh, there you go, finally. So, yeah. Otherwise, I think if I pulled them apart, it would have gotten damaged. So, since it's a card I need... If I see another cane, I might just rip it out and let you guys see what it would look like if I just, like, without doing that and just spread them apart. They'd uh, break pretty easily, so... <clears throat> Oh no, I messed up the pack. I collect wrappers too, that's why I don't want to mess up the packs, but... Oh, we got another checklist. Unlaunch already, so... We got Warrant, Boomerang, Sin Eater, a team up with Black Widow, nice. Another checklist. And we got two more packs to open, and I guess th this will be it for this episode. <clears throat> and I guess I'll put out the plug for the uh, uh, like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> Come on. All right. We got... Ooh, did I just damage it? I don't think I did that, but... I guess we will see when uh, I replay the video if I did that damage or not. But I don't think I did because... Like that's a big... Uh, it looked like it was done there before already. So, And it's I guess a, a card I need to... Alright. Got... Chance. Sin Eater. Oh man, I'm just getting the same cards. Not lagging the, the odds on these cards. But I think a whole box would complete uh, a 50 card set like this. Because it, it, it's not that many cards. So. Um, it looks like it's Chance and Pursuit. Uh, I'm thinking of just ripping this apart together. But there are they are kind of rare cards they're a lot more rare than the spider-man so i'm uh, i don't really want to just just for this video i i could do that with like marvel cards but i just i can't seem to do it for 
like these. Ah, it's really frustrating. All right, I'm just gonna do it. I don't think it's, I'm really close to finishing it though. So let's just finish it. This is dinged up already anyway. Give it a little massage. It's good. We got one more pack anyway. I'll just take care of this later. Let's open the last pack so we can be done. And uh, yeah, looks like I'm not gonna get the whole card set at all. But I'll let, I'll let you guys know like how how far I get. I'll probably have a video on this anyway once I do the Splitter Ultra Spider-Man episode. So ooh, this looks nice. Like, why couldn't I get doubles of these? Oh, looks like it's tied up really bad. Having five carnages. This. All right, I think that they're dislodged. We got this pack is nice. We got Carnage, Scarlet Spider, Spider Man, and Craven, and Stegron. Ah, oh, I got lazy, and there's damage right here. This is why, uh, crap, I can't get lazy and just pull them out together because that's what happens. But anyway, and it's also on a card I need. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's the difference between ripping the cards apart that are stuck together and, you know, uh, having the patience to dislodge all of them and just vice, like, separate, separating them like that. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and... Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.